with the COVID protocols, understandably so. Jamaica making five changes from last week. Hewton Campbell, got to give a big shout out to the team manager for Jamaica. Been back to London almost like a recruit of the highest order trying to bring people in. Found them, brought them across, and here they are in Spain. Francisco Sal is the referee. Hep. 26 tries in Malaga last week for Argentina. So agonising and close around there. 17 24 in the final in the end. 17 all for such a long time. Jamaica just delighted to be playing on the series. 31 5 last week when they met in the pool stages. Getting close to their first ever win on the series. This series, losing to Japan in extra time in the 13th play playoffs. Plenty of colour to proceedings though, Jamaica. Many great stories. She's whipping that ball away. Another Welshman. How good is it to see Big Daniel Fussell back in the seventh shirt? The big man from Jamaica used sparingly at the moment. But he is a real presence, a big man to play seven, Come six foot four, 110 kgs. And there he is, Newton Campbell, bringing him across, reinforced seat on the play, no doubt. You're brave from up here, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, closer. Approach. It's a compliment. <laughs> Find, set. Maybe a little mistake, Roy really Swift with his feet to the scrub. <laughs> Well this time this Obviously, training with rugby coach, played in the Commonwealth Games in 2018 at Lucas Roy Smith. Taylor Bush. That's only possession here for Jamaica. Working their way out of the 22. Say it. Thank you. Running in the end to boot to ball. And they retain it as well. To Belleville. Hello, this one. Coleman Schultz for the tackle, and it was an important one as well, wasn't it? Bandit over. Gaston River whips it away for Argentina. Gonzalez. Backwards. Ball ripped away. And we quickly won the ball for a moment. Sabato. Juggling around, went backwards initially and then knocked on from Argentina. A little bit rusty, Argentina. Well, I think that is understandable. Trump. The effort they put in last week against both England in the semi, South Africa in the final, both teams to have that bye game. They come into this, yep. having replenished their energy stores throughout the week. Gonzalez still find it very hard to fathom how this guy has some sort of tertiary energy system. Like he is the personification Find of this Argentinian set. team just so full on. It's like he lives life at 100%. <laughs> Come on, set. Very happy Come on, to have some of that, please, Mr. Gonzalez. Up on yellow. 71 tries now. Four last week. He's the referee very cleverly, didn't he? Ciano Gonzalez for one of the tries. 12 Strong one. One. so far. You do well to put a bit of pressure on your Argentina when you're in your deepest, darkest territory. Jamaica already showing a little bit to clear it. Tried a kick, not a bad option, but now it's Argentinian ball with plenty of efficiency of their own. It's a suffocating white and blue blanket, isn't it? Argentina, they get the penalty, no advantage to play by the referee. And they're off and away, Argentina. Alvarez, he's back. And he's back scoring. And it would not have been a difficult guess to think that his first impact would be positive for this team. So difficult to be a captain of a team, not able to contribute exactly where you want to. But this is very much taking leadership back under his wing. Just a tap, a little bit of deception. Roy Smith not able to stop him. It's quite slight, very powerful, Alvarez. Try 41. Santiago Alvarez. Oh, 
talk about emotional players. Gaston with all ball in hand now. Not saying his name as much as we often do in the sevens field, but he's still so committed to the game. A little buzz ball of a player, isn't he? Like an Amor or a Pedro Leal is that kind of figure. And Rob Vickerman, I even dare to say in that little bracket. The Jamaican team just trying to work out a few tactics on the fly there, trying to make sure people are in the right position. This is the thing, isn't it? You're playing against fully professional team, this semi-professional outfit, Jamaica. Holding. Just on that time together, complaining that uh, hands are down on the ground. Well, sets off for Argentina. Gets them going. Amas. In the scrum half. Missed pass, bounce. Works well for Argentina. Doing well out these big, fit Jamaican side. Plenty of working gyms and personal trainers, that kind of thing. They are big physical men. Yeah, very much so. Spend all the time in your gym working. They're not shy doing a few curls themselves. Big old guys, the Jamaicans. But Argentina smothering them at times. Showing strength of their own. Well, technically, if that was a more, then Sabato wasn't able to come round the side as he did. He should have been penalised there. But we'll give advantage to the Argentinian just from sheer determination in the middle. Gonzalez always looks exhausted, but there's no surprise there. One interesting tactic mentioned about South Africa winning a tournament last week with just four offloads. Argentina only had 11 across the whole tournament and none when they last Five. took on Arge at Jamaica. So very interesting to see how Six. tactically they adjust in their game. You know, Santiago gomez Cora talks Please, about this transition of players perhaps also in play. Yeah, Georgia microscope piece this week on the offloads. Expect you across the socials and the website to catch Rob Vickers' view on that. Argentina risk adverse. Bouncing around. Jamaica well, might set off on a Long run through. Well, Bush got his hand to the ball in the tackle. And perhaps a pass decision would see him get two minutes in the Simbin for it, so depending on if it went forwards or not. But I really like the look of Bush. I think he's one of these players who can use that physicality, imposing style to get into these Argentinian players. Argentina looking to score right on half time. Gonzalez. Four tries last week. Another one here right on half time for Argentina to put them in the driving seat. That is lovely footwork in the middle from Lamas. The jump in and out just pauses defenders in front of him, and then what a ball in front. Eagle eyed Gonzalez. Claims it in the midst and gives his old, what I'd call the Bane celebration. Surprise me, he seems like a bit of a super villain. Whatever flights you boat, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> there we go then, half time. There's Argentina sucking the big ones and just a little bit more comfortably after scoring that 14 0 half time Argentina over Jamaica. A big old win, wasn't it, for them over Germany in their opening game. Star man was Jack Kelly. Let's hear from him now. Jack, Ireland got there in the end against Germany, but describe for us just how hard it was to get through them. Yeah, I mean, we know they're a team you really have to work to break down. They're very competitive boys. They're very tough at the breakdown. So we knew we were coming in for a fight. And uh, we knew that we'd kind of have to weather the storm a little bit. And eventually, the, you know, so long as we executed, we'd be able to wear them down eventually. This weekend, new leg on the World Series. Have the players been able to go out about and enjoy the city? Just tell us a bit about what you've, how you spent the last week. Yeah, I mean, I, we, we've managed to get out and see a bit of the city. I've, I've kind of been stuck in the room doing a bit of study myself, so not the best time of year. But anyway, that happens. But uh, no, I think we're really enjoying Seville, really enjoyed Malaga last week. So we're having a great time. Brilliant. Well, uh, continue to enjoy the weekend. Thanks for speaking to us. Thanks very much. Cheers. 
Some people have got it all, haven't they? All students. Studying the game of rugby as well as law. Just making everyone look bad, that, isn't it? Not out of this one yet, Jamaica. Certainly not. Only 14 nil to Argentina over Jamaica. This guest team replaced somewhat. Argentina. They were doing some Commonwealth Games training in England when they got the call. Over there, rather basketball style. The position back for Argentina, then it's the big dummy, and then the big stride back inside. Gonzalez, sixth time this season, he scored a double. I think the player's just checking that he is human. The landing on him has took a little bit of wind out of him. But no doubt, he'll be back on and cracking with it. But this is wonderful play from Schultz. That little bit of deception. Vassell just square-footed. Lovely show. Backs his pace initially. Ball back in the two hands. Over the top. We're seeing so many variations of pass in the game of sevens. And rightly so. Experimenting, getting that ball wide. He's back up and running. Gonzalez, but just taking a bit of time in the end goal to have a bit of a rollabout. Go faster stripes and all sorts. Gonzalez on the arms. Bronze medalist in Tokyo. His day is done. He will return tomorrow. After scores those important tries. And we're in 75 now. SHSBC World Rugby 7 Series. Is it underway again here and Sami up. Shots. Get three times to the 15 side. Herbert Schultz. Jamaica so much endeavour. Just against. People do this day in, day out. Got a foul. Just tidy things up on that right hand side. Rival just pads it on. That's as good, says the referee initially. One of those where you sort of bend your head and your body to try and make it straight. So you see a lot of passes in sevens theoretically go forward, but Alvarez staying in front of it makes it harder to call. We'll get into physics, but it's about the passes and possession of Argentina mentioned about them not liking to offload so they do a lot of play in the width they carry the ball well and hard Jamaica had a fair share of ball in this game as well and here we see because he's stopped it's made to look worse but most passes you see in sevens do move forward but aren't forward it's an idiot come on Hundred percent tackle success for Argentina. Backing up after last week's Set. heroics. Last player of the game, wasn't it? Seventy all it was against South Africa. Excellent juggling skills. Taylor Bush. Yes, Oh, Argentina just refusing to let Jamaica play with it. No, no, that's that's our ball. I mentioned about the possession. They've just gone nowhere with it. And that's the difficulty against Argentina. Say 100% tackle rate in the game of sevens. That's impressive, bearing in mind how much field they're covering. No sweeper in behind, which is dangerous against a team who love to put the ball on the boot. Alvarez. Anything Gonzalez can do, Captain Fantastic can do as well. Two for him now against Jamaica here in Sevilla. 
just assessing his options. You can see him scanning. The threat with Argentina is always that kick, as I mentioned, but because he's playing around the defence, squares up a couple, runs at the space in between them both, and there's nothing that Caven can do to stop it. Tries to get an arm round him, but not close enough to make the tackle. No discredit there, Alvarez has done and will continue to beat players at 20. Up to 28 now, Argentina. Ranked second against 17. Just certainly not had it all right away. And I think Jamaica will grow and improve from these experiences here in Spain. Nothing second here. Go, 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 Nick from Sabato just put a little bit too much on it. Another one of these Argentinian finishers who were so adept putting the ball on the foot. Started with their coach. Bagged over 220 <laughs> tries from doing so. And then Manetta has taken the mantle on. But let's not forget Sabato. The stopgap in between those two. Now a veteran of the game but still able to pass on his experience. Manetta on the sideline looking pretty comfortable. Perhaps not getting on in this game. Saving it for tomorrow's three efforts. Come on, go on. Yeah, he's just sitting there on the, on the side over the hoardings. Legs crossed and rather relaxed about it all. This one is in the bag, isn't it? But I suspect Santi, as he's known, would a little more. And he's going to get some more here. Fabulous work. His crop. Go underneath the sticks. Argentina and a canter now. This guy had a pretty special weekend last week in Malaga. He's got this poise when he runs, the angle he takes, glides through the defence. Nice little ball through the legs always makes things look a little bit better. And as he claims it on the fly, that little bit of deception just splitting the defence. What a beautiful line he takes and glides underneath. What jerking runs are that all day long for? Tries on the coast a week ago. What in the semi final? Really nice individual score. Moving towards that 40, 40 point mark. Look at that restart. Three seconds in it, that's where you want it to be. Over the three second marks, hanging in the air, and right on the 10 meter line. And that was about as perfect as it gets. And it's given this opportunity. The pass is not neat, though. Sabato picks up and then just steps off the right. Says, Thank you very much. First day here in Sevilla. Done very nicely indeed for the silver medalists a week ago. Anyone clocking over 50 tournaments on the series knows the ability to impact. Manetta has come on, finds himself in the middle as a playmaker, but the bounce off the right from Sabato splits the field once again. Right across the board, Argentina looking dangerous. The man who normally provides him nowadays gets one of his own. 55th tournament, 121st try. Huge scoring ability for that man here, he just tucked in behind. Santiago, Thomas Corley, Argentinian coach. Few, few behind. Good chance for one more score then. Is good. Brilliant from the restart again from Argentina. A little knock on there just off the shins just as they were trying to build. Argentina slow to get up and running, but in the end, last week's losing finalists will be very happy with that. Indeed, it's Argentina beating Jamaica here 42 points to nil. Some nice individual moments there. Argentina will have pleased to, to get that 40 minutes under the belt.
Get back on the field, back on the horse. After the disappointment of last week for Jamaica, where 